event. So youth, if you are happy to be here, when I greet you, your response will tell me if you are happy. Good morning. One school, one country event. This event today is all about cultural exchange. We have reached out to our schools some time ago, challenging our learners to do some research, to learn more about their paired country and that country's values, traditions and cultures. The old names of DRC goes as follow. Firstly, Congo Free State. Secondly, Belgian Congo. Thirdly, the Republic of Congo Leopoldville. Fourthly, the Republic of Zaire. Zaire is a term meaning Great River. Then the fifth and current name, which is Democratic Republic of Congo. Ethiopian cooking is some of the tastiest, healthiest, and most diverse cuisine on the continent. And unlike many African countries, it's a haven for vegetarians. The simple reason for this is that most Ethiopians follow a particular strand of Orthodox Christianity that prohibits the eating of any animal products on Wednesdays and Fridays. The colors of the flag. So red uh, represents the blood of those who died in the country's struggle for independence. Gold uh, represents uh, the country's uh, mineral wealth. Green symbolizes the country's um, rich forest and the black star in the middle, this one, represents the load star of African freedom. As you can see on the side of the coastline, we have the Namal Desert and Sosasli and Nauclaft Park. Our desert is the oldest desert in the world. This is actually the picture of how Madagascar drifted away from Africa 200 million years ago. Madagascar originated from a severe earthquake that separated it from Africa 200 million years ago. This separation from continental mainland caused the island to drift 250 miles northeast and settled for about 35 to 45 million years. Rwanda, known for a thousand years, is located in the south equator, bordered by Tanzania, Uganda, Burundi and DRC. Rwanda has a population of over 12.6 million living on 26,338 kilometers of land and most is the most densely populated. One million people live in the capital and largest city, Kigali. Apart from the district, there is only one city which is the heart of Uganda and it is Kampala. Kampala is a beautiful city built around seven hills not far from the shores of Lake Victoria. This canvas, it's a center of uh, Sokop Mund. So we decided to give such gift for them to remember Sokop Mund. So it's written, gifted from Frederick Primary School. And I wish for them to come back to Sokop Mund and also to visit Frederick We Thank you. The Zambian tribes. The Zambians are primarily Bantu-speaking people belonging to about 70 ethnic groups. According to the CIA World Factbook, some of the largest ethnic groups in the country include the Bembe, Tonga, Chiwa, Lozi and Senge people. We the LRCs are here on behalf of Swakopmoon Primary School representing South Africa! Isn't it interesting that Vikalazi Street boasts in Soweto boasts with two Nobel Prize winners, namely Nelson Mandela and Bishop Desmond Tutu. South Africa is Africa's largest gold producer. In 2006, it became the world's largest gold producer. We give this gift on behalf of our school, Sokop Moon Primary School, and we hope you appreciate it. And we love to say thank you for visiting our country, Namibia. We want to appreciate the gifts 
and we really value the partnership with Swakopmund Primary School. We'll continue working with you. On behalf of South Africa, would like to present the gift to the teacher. Uh, with this uh, little token of appreciation, we really value our partnership and we think that it's gonna go far. Let us meet in Shanghai. Thank you very much. Be inspired, be motivated, enjoy this day. It is your time, thank you. The One School, One Country program is a well-established cultural exchange initiative by the World Skills International. It offers a unique way to interact and, and share by linking up participating country teams with local schools. Its goal is, of course, to encourage cultural exchanges while raising the profile of skills and the skilled careers for the youth. So that Erongo region will become the first region where we will introduce at school level competitions between the different learners who are interested in vocational subjects so that we really have that awareness that skills development is very, very important in the country. I need you to build and build again, to make new, to bring forth life from relentless earth, making an oasis of charred terrain, creating refuge from only scar tissue. I need you. So with that said, we would like to say thank you and welcome the team refugee um, in Namibia. Thank you very much.